protein structure, as any other chemical structure, is an arrangement of what we call atoms in space. So basically we have um, these atoms here arranged uh, in a three-dimensional space and that's something that we can see using very powerful techniques such as crystallography or cryo-EM, for instance. These pictures, when we see them, when we uh, take the X-ray crystallography structure, for instance, is static. So this molecule could be trapped or captured in this arrangement or this other arrangement or this other arrangement. And each of these different shapes can have uh, different, um, let's say, activities or different uh, uh, behaviors. So, the problem is that you don't really know which one is going to be active and how they intercombine to each other and um, how these uh, molecules actually react to the environment. That's something that we do with molecular dynamics using computers. We let them relax, we let them move, we bring molecules to life. Time is important because we live uh, in a world that has this dimension. That uh, sounds like trivial, but it's not we are moving all the time at different time scales and this is a key concept so we have motions involving this type you know of rearrangements that will be, uh, take picoseconds which is a, a tiny fraction of time but we also have motions in proteins of folding and unfolding basically they change their shapes and that takes uh, three four orders of magnitude more that means that there is a huge universe in time and in space so we, we live in a four dimensional world so we cannot just forget our time. So my dream is to be able to predict which mutations uh, will produce a desired activity that is not natural, just using computers.